we originally started off with spacing the lessons in between lessons 15 minutes so it gave us time to um, wipe down, down high touch services um, we asked that everybody of course masks up when they come to the studio um, we also um, created this time in between lessons so that our students wouldn't be um, passing each passing each other, so it gave a chance for people to come and go at different times. Awesome. Uh, when people come into the studio, as you know, they fill out a form, a questionnaire. We take everybody's temperatures. Um, so we're trying to, you know, you know, stick with the guidelines and do things as safely and as responsibly as possible. Beautiful. Uh, another thing that we do is uh, we do have group and private lessons that we teach here. We mainly teach private lessons, which is in this case, probably Keeps better. Easier, absolutely, yeah. But for the group classes, we limit them to six people at a time and only 10 people max in the studio at any given time. Awesome. No, so, it definitely seems like you guys are taking the responsibility mm -hmm. seriously, and, and I'm excited to show you guys the rest of the space. It's really impressive. So yes. that's what we're going to go in and do next. It's really impressive. So, out this way. <laughs> this is our lovely music machine that we have specifically for ballroom dancing. As you can see, we've got all the different styles of dancing here. So if I wanted to play what's playing right now, which is a mambo, I would find a, a key that says mambo, which is down here, press it, and a bunch of music pops up. This here is our main ballroom. It used to be a laboratory. Um, and what's happening right now is there's a single gentleman taking a private lesson, and then a couple taking a private lesson. So there's, as you can see, five people out on the floor right now. Very cool. This here is our waiting area. Uh, typically when students come to the studio, we have them sit, sit down and wait for their lessons. Or if they're a new student, we have them fill out the paperwork and we'll be waiting there for them when they come in to welcome them. Honored to stop by Fred Astaire Dance Studio right over here on Monroe Ave in Brighton. If you guys have never seen them, yes. check them out on Facebook and social media. Like she said, that's where a lot of people are finding out about them these days. And uh, make an appointment. Come by and learn how to dance. Yeah.